Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be planning the week of June 29th to the July 5th in my Franken planner. So I am using my 4th of July uh, kit inspired. And I will be releasing more kits on July 15th. So I did switch up the, so when I first Franken planned my first planner, it was with neutral um, spreads or a neutral layout, but I did switch it to the colorful. So here I put down the date covers on top of the colored section and it does cover up. Um, you do see a little bit of it, but I don't really mind because it's not really noticeable. And I did make the date covers, uh, the strips a little longer. So in case there's any variations, you can trim it off easily or you can just leave it if you choose to. So since this week had two colors, I decided to use the date covers, but maybe next week I will do something different, like no stickers at all. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, so I did cover up the calendar view because it was June, so I didn't really need June, so I just covered it up with the full box on the sampler page. And then I did extend the washi from the bottom into the sidebar. So I like to use the thin strips of washi um, to just to balance out the spread a little. And I do like to block off the 7 p.m. or, or not 7 p.m., 6 a.m. area just to mark my videos at the top instead of putting it where I would post them because I don't really need the the times as much in my weekly spread. So I did use the flag labels instead of the quarter boxes. And here I use the skinny flag label to mark this week. And I do have a meeting, so I actually got a new assignment from work, which is pretty much taking calls that student makes, or, or they call us instead of me making calls as my other, or, yeah. <laughs> um, I actually used to make calls um, to students in regards to their balances if they received a scholarship, but now students will be calling me, so I'm currently training for that right now, so yeah. And for Saturday, I did use a, or for Wednesday and Friday, I have two birthdays to mark. And for Saturday, it was 4th of July, or is 4th of July. So I did use my new holiday script stickers. Um, these will be coming out on July 15th in all the different foil colors. And you can get them in um, clear paper or white paper. So I am using the checklist on the sidebar and I marked down all the packages that I'm expected to receive um, either this week or next week or the following week. So I pretty much did that and I did extend it a little since I used two of the checklists. So I did cover it up, uh, cover the, or I used the full box to cover it up. So I just trimmed it away and I did put one on Saturday a full box and it was also payday on that Friday so I used an appointment label so here I'm just marking off my dinners because I usually eat dinner with my family at 7 p.m. so it was perfect timing And I do have summer Fridays at work, so starting last, uh, on the 26th was my first Friday off. So the third is my second. Um, so yeah, I marked it to day off on the top. 
and I did put down another full box because it's my dad's birthday so I'm pretty much going to be keeping it simple and won't be doing much that day but I don't know I like to do things a lot so yeah so here are all the packages that I'm expected to receive I know I spent too much but hopefully um, with my new budget I will be tracking it and being more aware of what I'm doing with my money so yeah and I do have a subscription that's due which is my SBC sub or mystery kit so I did use the skinny label and the stencil to make a checkbox and here I'm just putting down my videos that I'll be posting I'm not too sure what I'm be posting on Friday so here I'm just marking down my meeting and I did forget to mark things because clearly I'm not good at pre-planning. I'm probably going to have to put post-it notes or a page to remind me what I have to put in each week. So on the third, it's actually my friend, planner friend's um, birthday. So I met her at Sugary Gal Factory, or not Sugary Gal Factory, Sugary Gal Shop um, conference uh, two years ago. So we've stayed in touch and she's actually having a baby girl, so congratulations to you. Um, so the planner does um, start on July 1st, so I did have two extra pages in my other planner, which is just my May and June. So I did have to put those two days there. I could have just left it, but I like things being cohesive, so instead of having it blank, I just decided to add it there. And I did end up using the date covers because I was feeling lazy and I didn't want to pull out uh, date dots. So I just kept, uh, used two of the date, um, date covers to cover up the days. And here I forgot to mark down that I had a USPS pickup scheduled. He usually picks up around 2 p.m. so, um, yeah, and I also want to do one on Friday. So I did use the extra pieces of washi uh, from C2 or C1, the sheet C1. Um, so I had two pieces of washi, so I cut them in half and then I marked down four days of my work. But usually on Mon well for Monday, I my work schedule is extended till three, three to five or whatever five hour period I have. Um, so yeah. So I did use the decorative boxes to cover up the calendar view, but for since these two areas aren't um, July 2020, the tw or not July 2020, June 2020. So I did cover those up, but in the Franken planner, I didn't cover them up. I used my transparent squares to highlight the day of the month. So yeah. So here I'm just pretty much filling everything out. And now I'm going back to the Franken planner. And I was debating if I wanted to cover up the strips, because the colored area but I decided to just cover it up, make it everything cohesive, but maybe next week because it's going to be all blue, so I don't really mind, or all navy, not blue. Um, so yeah. So here I'm just marking down all the work days that I have, which is Monday through Thursday for five hours. And here I did switch up the labels. So this is sheet K and I did cut it um, a little shorter And I did round off the corners and I marked my dad's birthday that day. So you can make your the stickers as um, creative as you can. Um, so yeah. So I used a one ton sticker from one ton in a million to mark down my dad's birthday.
and I did use a decorative box for that day. I might put a picture down and then put a journal label. And then for Monday and Thursday, Tuesday, I did put down one deco box and then a journal box. And since the festivities were over, I did want to pretty much start working on the new releases, pretty much prep it. So I'll be releasing a bunch of the functional kits and the daily dual add-on. And I, for Thursday, I wanted to print and cut stickers and sneak some stickers on my Facebook group or Instagram. And I like to mark um, if I spend anything so or no spend. So to ensure I don't spend anything, I'll have it on my to-do list for each day. So I, for the weekend section, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I didn't want to put down the full... Um, journal area because I wanted to add pictures because it is 4th of July weekend but even though we're not going out I like to take pictures so I opted for one deco box and the other journal box and then for Friday I added a deco box So I did use a label from Sheet K, and these do fit in the weekend section as well on the daily area. So I did block that off, and then I put down a half box to mark um, that my dad actually came to America 42 years ago, so that's pretty exciting. So then for Back to Friday, I marked down that it was payday. And I was watching, I believe, Monarch Plans, and she was writing down new fiscal year in her planner. And that just um, gave me the idea because my hours, since I'm a college assistant, my hours end June 30th. So I had to mark down that my reappointment, hopefully will be soon, um, is pretty much July 1st. So my hours restart on July 1st. And I did mark down that it was my friend's birthday again. So back to the 4th, I uh, did mark down that it was my dad that my dad came here with his family um, 42 years ago, and I did write out um, Independence Day. I will add a foiled script sticker um, once I print it because I only have one of the silver foil. So yeah, so that's pretty much the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Until next time, bye!